What's up, school fans? Welcome back to the vlog. It's game day again in the IBL. Hari ini kita akan ke tenis indoor senayan untuk meliput pertandingan antara Pacific Sesa Surabaya melawan Pelita Jaya Bakery. Super excited karena hari ini gue juga pengen lihat Nick Wiggins and of course uh, pengen lihat idola baru gue yaitu Jalen Richardson dari Pacific dan anak-anak muda Pacific yaitu Dava dan Aven. Gue pengen lihat aja sih bagaimana nanti mereka compete kalau melawan tim star studded dari Pelita Jaya Bakery. Semoga hari ini Arigi Yesaya dan juga beberapa pemain muda dari Pelita Jaya akan dapat menit dan juga dapat kesempatan untuk showcase their skills. Uh, ya, yeah, kita bentar lagi akan berangkat. Tapi seperti biasa, guys, uh, sebelum kita berangkat, I'm super excited to today. Karena gue akan sedikit eksperimen sedikit uh, hari ini. Karena gue pengen cobain bikin vlog pakai lensa 7200. Nanti let me know apakah kalian suka atau tidak. Uh, kalau sedikit ngezoom-ngezoom vlognya, nanti kalian bisa komen aja di bawah. Dan sebelum kita berangkat, of course, kita harus makan dulu. Dan kita hari ini akan support Bapak Manager dari Pelita Jaya Bak itu Adi Pratama Happy Birthday ini merupakan ulang tahunnya dia hari ini itu kenapa kita harus beli usahanya dia bisnisnya dia itu Burger Fumo wah ini salah satu burger chicken burger yang menurut gue paling enak juga sih di Jakarta aduh gila hmm Mm -mm -mm. Ini dia nih, kita sebelum berangkat ke tenis indoor Kita akan makan ini dulu, so once again uh, All the best untuk Adi Semoga di umur yang baru ini bisa membawa Pelita Jaya sukses Itu aja um, Opening dari gue, so after this I'm gonna see you guys on the court See you guys With my boy Nelson Yo, big fan of Koroki, finally meet him Thank you so much, tunjukin dong Tunjukin, wah Two years, Two years Two membership, years. thank you well Nelson yeah. Have fun tonight ya yeah. yeah. Semoga yes, PG menang Thank you. Dede warming up. Semoga hari ini Dede bisa dapat menit. Kangen juga nonton Dede. So hopefully he will get some burn. Kita hari ini mau nonton Nick nih. Nick Wiggins. Stretching dulu Ini udah ada Dava aja ya Udah ada mulai stretching pemain pasif Enak nih kalau nggak ada musiknya Nggak kena copyright gitu ya Wah, idola gue satu lagi baru masuk <laughs> Aven Halo. Sama ya? Apa kabar? Baik ya? Baik-baik Good luck ya? Yeah, thank you. Siap Steven Hurt juga udah mulai pemanasan Big game though over the weekend Big man yang bisa nembak 3 point Kita baru ganti lensa guys ini pakai lensa 7200 semoga makin asik sih melihat Nick Wiggins dari dekat ini kemanasan ini dua pemain yang gua mau nonton nih hari ini nih. ada Jalen Richardson dan juga ada Dava The franchise player for Pacific Jalen ini pernah main di The Crossover ternyata ini Gila sih, poinnya banyak terus sih Menurut gue, one of the biggest surprises probably this season Di yeah, IPL, so I'm very excited sih Untuk ngeliat dia match up lawan PJ hari ini sih Semoga ada highlights terbang-terbang lah dari dia hari ini Dan juga Dava, semoga juga terbang-terbang hari ini Dua power forward Dua big man dari Pacific Cesar Ada Aven, ada Yonatan Happy though to see Yonatan back healthy playing again Dan Aven ini salah satu pemain muda Masih 19 tahun loh kayaknya Aven ini Dan dia udah mau jadi franchise player juga menurut gue Untuk Pacific So yeah man, ini dua big man Pacific nih Sepatunya Nick apa ya? Adidas kalau seperti Nick Wiggins gue never seen those shoes
Kelly in the first quarter. Check stats do it in.
Yesaya dua kali asis. I just think it, they just need to be more confident in their self. I don't, I don't think they're, they're as confident. Uh, they're, they're very talented players. Uh, I, just, I just need them to showcase it. That's it. Do you think you need to do something in order to make them, like, to show up, like, as you say, they're, they're, they're very talented? Uh, I just, I think, I think it comes with, with, with experience. Uh, I think I think as time progress, they they get more in the groove. Uh, it's 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 early. It's, it's still early. We only what four or five games in. Five five games in. 
Later today, I'll, I'll talk to him. Uh, I, ju I just need him to go out there and play, play, just not play scared. Uh, I think that's the biggest problem. Uh, they're just, they're just nervous, nervous of mistakes, uh, atmosphere, just, just being nervous. And if, if you're nervous, uh, it, it plays a big part while you play in the game. So I just need him to go out there and just play confident. I did like Look, uh, obviously, um, we showed tonight how entertaining that we can be. Uh, that uh, I've, I've always said uh, right from day one, we're probably the most talented roster in the entire league. And, and, and with that, it's really been difficult for all of us from a coaching perspective, all the players to be able to try and get things to fit properly. And I always knew it was going to take time, and we still have a long way to go. But I think tonight we showed, particularly offensively, um, when we moved the ball and, and uh, you know, shoot the threes, get to the rim, uh, we, we play a really exciting style of game that, that we're hoping that the fans will enjoy. So um, I'm very, very happy with, uh, obviously, scoring the amount of points. Uh, very disappointed way we started. You know, we, we were... You know, you speak about it, you know, you do your scouts, you're in the change room, and yeah, 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 we, this is what we have to do, and uh, we came out flat. They came out and threw everything at us early. You know, and, uh, you know, I had to, you know, it's probably the first time I've ever called a timeout within the first two minutes of the game. Uh, you know, obviously I was a bit upset about it, and uh, I think once we started to refocus and rebuild, uh, we, we were definitely a lot better, but we were a long, long way to go defensively, trying to work out our, our combinations of what works well and what doesn't work well. So uh, we're obviously very happy with the win, but you know I'm not going to take the foot off. I'm going to keep you know really pressuring the players to, to uh, turn up and play every single game. Mungkin dari Kareza ada tanggapan untuk game hari ini? Apa dari pertanyaannya? Tanggapannya aja. Tanggapan untuk oh. game hari ini? Hmm. Uh, kalau saya pribadi sih masih belum cukup puas sama game hari ini ya. Uh, quarter pertama itu nggak uh, tahu ngapain gitu. kita di lapang. Gitu. Jadi kayak uh, bukan PJ gitu yang saya rasa gitu. Karena di sisi offense kita juga nggak nggak muterin bolanya di defense juga kita kayak gampang banget jebolnya gitu jadi awal-awal uh, memang memang kita struggling karena kitanya sendiri gitu belum puas sama uh, cara mainnya gitu cuman ya alhamdulillah di quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4 udah mulai oke okay. cuman di bagian defense sih uh, masih masih jauh dari kata bagus kalau menurut saya coach um, can you just tell us a little bit about what caused the slow uh, the slow start, and obviously, of course, what did you say during the timeout? Yeah. Again, um, I'm trying to emphasize defense with our team, actually not offense, mm -hmm. you know, because I know we can score. I've got no doubt. We've got so much talent out there, so much firepower that we we can we can score. But I'm trying to get our players to play hard nose defense, pressure defense, uh, early. And uh, it right, right now, as, you know, as I said earlier, that we, we were slow. We were very, very slow with the pick up of the ball. Uh, they came down and shot two uncontested threes. You know, we, we, we stat our mistakes, and in that first quarter, we had five layups against us with, with no challenges. And we also had, uh, they had three uncontested threes as well. So we, we um, we chart that and we look at, we have to get better at that, simple as that. And I always know, we keep saying the players, teams come on to our court or every time we play, they're going to raise themselves to play against us because it's, uh, you know, as I said, we know we're talented, we've got NBA guys, uh, I completely understand that, but we have to outwork teams. We can't just beat teams on talent. So during the you know, that time out, was going, you know, this is this is this is not good enough. You know, probably a little bit more animated than that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we have very high standards, and we we uh, we didn't do it. Simple as that. And did it. <laughs> You got a big uh, standing ovation today coming in. Just wondering, 
what does he need to do? What does he need to show you to, you know, be in your rotation? Oh, look, I, I, he was fantastic tonight, and uh, yeah, I guess there's a lot of people behind the scenes, uh, you know, having a go at me is, you know, why is he playing? But people aren't privy to all the information behind the scenes. He's had exams, uh, university exams, the last two weeks where he's missed most of the week. You know, so, and even last week, that you know, I would have liked to take him on the road, but he had an exam last Friday night. So I, I also look from a, a bigger perspective that it's really important for our young players, he's the youngest in our team, mm. that he is at college, he has exams, and and we, we allowed it, it's not that we we're gonna disallow it, but we take that into consideration as well. You know, so uh, Dede has a, a huge, huge future. You know, his athleticism, all of that. You know, he showed some fantastic things tonight, and that, that that was great for his confidence as well. But you know, going back to a lot of people uh, might be critical about it. They have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. So laid on the table that yep, he didn't play the last few games because he had exams. Okay, thank you. And one more. Uh, you have one month break yep. ahead of us right now. What what is the plan and how do you keep these guys uh, in good conditioning? And of course, you know, uh, coming back not out of shape. Yeah, well, um, firstly, we're, we're giving the, the uh, basically two weeks off. Uh -huh. uh, so everybody will have two weeks off, but we're saying that uh, we're gonna have a, a lot of our local players potentially with the national program. So they're, they're, they're gonna be fine, you know, because they'll be training you know, every day, every other day. They'll be playing in competition, stuff like that. So I've got no concerns about that. Um, our strength conditioning coach, um, or coaches, uh, Luis and, and Hamanto, we've already got programs in, in place uh, for those players, so conditioning, staff, shooting, things like that. So pretty much we've given them two weeks off, then they have to you know, report back, and uh, you know, we're, we're gonna get back into training, and just depending on how many people we've got available. Because as I said, we, you know, we've got a lot of our players that are potentially part of that national program. Thank you, Coach. Reza, pas sebagai pemain, break ke satu bulan ini, gimana tanggapannya? Apakah tricky atau enggak sih sebagai pemain? Uh, tricky sih pasti. Yeah. Soalnya uh, kan kita, maksudnya kita lagi. Sebenarnya gini, kalau pemain kan tinggal ngikutin program aja yes. ya. Yang bingung sih tim coaching staff gitu, gimana cara naikin picknya lagi, terus gimana uh, uh, ngasih program sama anak-anaknya gitu. Cuman kan kalau pemain kita berbicara profesional ya harus tanggung jawab aja hmm. gitu. Terus kan uh, kalau sempat ngobrol sama coach Luis sih katanya ya mungkin kita seminggu break bener-bener lu istirahat, memang lu ada kenapa-kenapa. Terus di minggu depannya dia bakal ngasih program gitu. Jadi ya. Ya udah, tinggal tinggal jalanin aja program dari dia. Udah setelah sekarang berapa game ya udah? Empat game ya. Setelah em, ya empat game. Empat games. Uh, lo merasa gimana chemistry untuk tim ini sih? Jujur sih, kalau uh, dengan beberapa pemain, saya pribadi belum hmm. belum nemu chemistrynya gitu. Terus uh, setiap setiap game itu tuh saya masih selalu ngerasa kita bermain enggak as a team. Hmm. kalau saya ngerasa gitu dan e, di sisi defense yang tadi saya bilang masih jauh dari kata bagus gitu. makanya kesempatan banget juga sih karena break ini hmm. kita bakal breakdown semua juga gitu bakal breakdown apa yang dirasain apa yang emang harusnya kita tekenin lagi apa yang harusnya emang kita buang itu apa nih gitu ini sesuatunya gitu karena kalau saya rasa e, kita punya bahan yang bagus gitu hmm tinggal beberapa resepnya aja nih harus dibikin lebih mantep lagi jadi kayak tinggal gimana ya bingung juga jadi kayak tinggal ah dikit lagi lah gitu karena ya gitu yang dibilang tiap game hmm. belum ngerasa ini belum ngerasa ini gitu. tapi alhamdulillah game hari ini kita bisa ambil gitu standing ovation diterakin namanya pas belum masuk and then bisa main hari ini gimana? Oh, jujur terharu banget sih gue bener-bener oh, makasih banget sama semua fans Oh, ini mix me. Ah, gila itu oh, benar-benar perasaan yang pertama kali gue rasain sih. Itu benar-benar hampir gue 
Oh bro, I almost have tears from my eye, man. Like, but, but thank you for semua PJ Holik. Benar-benar makasih banget. Hari ini ya akhirnya gue bisa main juga dan semoga next game gue bisa main lagi. Marah main saya nggak asisnya tiga kali yeah. langsung semua. <laughs> three, three time. He fumbled it. Ada. Dek, dia gitu lah kan. Kesih semet nih. Gila ini rame banget sih. Rame nya rame banget sampai sana. Guys, itu adalah liputan gua di mana Pelita Jaya Bakri berhasil mengalahkan Pacific Sea Surabaya hari ini. Semoga kalian suka dengan liputannya yang ngezoom ngezoom di guys yang agak dekat tadi. Jadi ini adalah eksperimen aja sih. Semoga nanti feedbacknya akan oke. Okay. Gue sih tadi menikmati banget nonton game hari ini karena gue bisa lihat Yesaya main cukup lama. Lalu Dede, gila sih Dede tadi teriakin sama satu stadion loh namanya. Gue sampai merinding loh. Dan juga gue seneng banget karena dia akhirnya bisa uh, mendapatkan menit juga dari Coach Rob Beveridge. Dan tadi juga gue thank you banget sama Dede yang sudah memeluangkan waktu ini sedikit untuk kasih gue quote setelah dia lagi foto-foto dan juga tanda tangan untuk PJ Holix so shout out though to Dede very happy to see him on the court he played really well too hari ini and of course tadi coach Rob udah kasih tahu tuh kenapa dia tidak main karena memang dia itu main ini lagi ujian guys itu kenapa Dede belum masuk ke rotasinya Pelita Jaya Bakri but other than gue juga happy banget bisa ngeliat Dava main ngeliat juga Jalen Richardson and of course juga Nick Wiggins Stephen Hurt juga jago ya gila Stephen Hurt sih 3 pointnya sih gak ada obat juga sih menurut gue tapi itu adalah liputan terakhir gue dari I IBL kali ini, thank you so much for always supporting this channel Udah nonton liputan-liputan gue dari IBL Gue libur dulu guys, sampai nanti IBL mulai lagi kalau lihat, tanggal 2 Maret uh, Tanggal 2 Maret akan mulai putaran uh, second half, not second half, tapi ya udahlah Abis dari break pemilu nanti baru mulai lagi So excited though, untuk meliput nanti lagi untuk IBL uh, Weekend ini gue akan ke pekan baru dulu guys Jadi jangan lupa juga untuk support videonya, liputan gue dari Raja Wali Cup Ya, yeah. dari pekan baru, kita akan break dulu sebentar and then ada Korea kalau nggak salah ada Hope Basketball nanti kita akan berangkat sama Hope Basketball nanti ditunggu aja juga liputannya so itu aja sih dari gue once again thank you so much guys sudah nonton selalu jangan lupa untuk like jangan lupa untuk comment and I will see you guys again very soon peace out everybody